I'm from Jerusalem. We're here at the home of archaeologist Gabi Barkai. Hi, Gabi. Thank you so much Hi. for hosting us in your home. First of all, shalom and shalom. welcome. This uh, summer I celebrate my 70th year in Jerusalem. Since my childhood uh, in Jerusalem, uh, which was very different Jerusalem than the city today, I was uh, wandering around. And in my, in my wanderings I collected uh, finds, all kinds of finds, coins, uh, pottery and uh, other stuff. And I was uh, intrigued by the question, who were those people who used them? Uh, living in Jerusalem uh, immediately connects you to uh, uh, the uh, ancient inhabitants of the, the place. You, you realize very uh, quickly that you are not the first to walk upon the uh, streets. Uh, uh, you are not the first to look around. Uh, and these landscapes were actually formed and got shaped by people uh, who were here before you. And uh, when you take uh, uh, the landscape uh, just out of my window here, uh, you see uh, Ramat Rachel, you see the vicinity of Bethlehem, you see the uh, mountains uh, embracing Jerusalem on all sides, and you realize that uh, there is history here and uh, the biblical heritage is also very clear. Every step uh, of mine upon the uh, landscapes of uh, Jerusalem uh, makes it clear that uh, those uh, figures uh, like uh, Isaiah uh, or King Hezekiah or King Zedekiah, uh, they uh, walk the same pathways uh, which exist here today. So I'm fascinated by that and uh, being on an archaeological dig and touching objects and uh, exposing uh, houses which nobody else uh, saw for several thousands of years, uh, it is very fascinating. Was there one particular find that is outstanding? Yes, of course, I'm coming to it. Oh, sorry. Uh, with the burials, we found also seven uh, rock-hewn caves, artificial caves which were used for burial in the first temple period in the 7th century BC. Underneath one bench which had six headrests in a row, uh, there was a repository for collecting the bones and burial gifts of the deceased. In that repository, underneath the uh, bench with the six headrests, uh, we found a surprise. This was the only repository found ever in Jerusalem which was not looted. Among the finds in that repository, still in the, in the dirt, uh, a, an object which looked purplish it looked very interesting. I didn't know then how interesting it is. Uh, it took us uh, three years to unroll this object. It was a tiny rolled up plaque made of silver, 99% silver. When it was unrolled, uh, it was covered densely with ancient Hebrew characters. Meanwhile, we found another object of the same nature, uh, which was only one centimeter in size. When it was unrolled, it was a plaque of about uh, five centimeters. And on it, very surprisingly, there were 19 lines of writing in micrography, in uh, minuscule characters, again in Hebrew. Uh, the first word which I uh, deciphered was yud hey vav hey, which is sometimes anglicized as Jehovah, uh, or uh, the name uh, of the Lord, the tetragrammaton, uh, or the unpronounceable name of God, uh, the name which appears in the Hebrew Bible whenever uh, the English has the word the Lord. Now, 
when I realized that there, are, there is a triple repetition of uh, the name of God, I immediately understood that it is the priestly benediction, which appears in the uh, Bible, in the book of Numbers. The uh, two tiny silver objects became thus the oldest biblical verses that we have in uh, the world. Uh, they are 2,700 years old. They date back to the 7th century BC. And uh, it is of utmost importance. But we had another biblical verse. Uh, the great God who keeps his covenant to his uh, followers and the lovers of his commandment. A verse which appears in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, in Sefer Dvarim, in the seventh chapter. I realized that it is one of the earliest mentionings, or the earliest mentioning of the name of God in Jerusalem. Uh, we have the, uh, the owner of uh, the temple. Uh, we have the one who resides in the temple uh, mentioned here. So I am very proud of it, and I'm uh, proud also of what I did later. Since uh, uh, 2004, until this very day, I'm uh, co-directing a project of sifting soil, from which was illicitly removed from the Temple Mount. The Temple Mount is the soul, heart, and spirit of the Jewish people. Uh, the Temple Mount is a black hole. Uh, Jerusalem is the most excavated place upon earth. Uh, 150 years con of continuous excavations went on in Jerusalem. Uh, but the Temple Mount was never touched by the spade of any archaeologist. The uh, Temple Mount is uh, maybe the most significant archaeological site in the world. Yeah. We uh, had in the sifting project approximately half a million finds. Oh, wow. The uh, most significant find I had is uh, the people. We decided that this uh, project should be carried out by volunteers. The volunteers come from all over the world, from all facets of Israeli society. And we have had in the uh, project more than a quarter of a million participants, which makes this project into the uh, most exposed archaeological project in the world. Uh, we have had people from all, all around the world participating in this. To see the excitement in the eyes of a child who touches a coin, which is 2,000 years old, has no parallel. Uh, this is uh, something uh, which is exciting. Um, if you had to sort of take your, your lifetime experience and, and the significance of archaeology and maybe sort of... Um, Send a message moving forward. What is the significance of archaeology today? Archaeology is the proof that uh, we were here. We were here before, and we were here. And it is uh, something that supplies me with deep roots. Archaeology is a kind of uh, uh, a connecting link between the remote past and the present, beyond any doubt. I, I hope that the enviers will be able to come participate in the sifting project soon. Yes, we invite uh, you to come and literally come and touch the soil of Jerusalem and participate in this amazing, amazing project and be another link in that chain of generations in uncovering, uncovering Jerusalem and making your mark in the city. Gabi, thank you so very, very much. Blessed be. Amen.